Songs was never meant to be a pirate king. He was destined to be a pie, right? I mean, look, draw a circle with a diameter of 1. Then the circumference which wraps all the way around the circle is 3.14159265358979823. Alright, this is a number which is known as pi, nothing less or more. We just simply call it pi, pronounced like a pi, and is often written using the Greek symbol pi. I guess you have already figured it out by now where I am going with this, but just in case, let me explain. We have come a long way in one piece, traversing a past and intricate world that feels like a complete circle of life and adventure, yet when it comes to songs, we know as little about him as the endless decimal of pi. Just like pi, which is a number with infinite non-repeating digits and no clear pattern, songs remain shrouded in mystery. We don't know his full name, whether he is a D or his true origins. His past and his true motives are as elusive as the endless digits of pi. All we know is that he is simply called songs, and that's all there is to it, much like pi. Although he is also known as Akagami or Akagami no songs, which literally means red-haired songs, just because this name refers to his red hair, which is much like saying pi or true circle ratio just because the ratio describes the relationship between a circle's circumference, that is the distance around the circle and its diameter, the distance across the circle and is always pi, no matter how large or small the circle is. What I mean by that is all we have are obvious informations. It seems I am overanalyzing it but just stick with me and it will be worth it. Now, believe it or not, we have few ways to determine the value of pi, but those are all just approximation. A quick and easy approximation of pi is 22 by 7. 22 by 7 equals to 3.1428571. But as you can see, 22 by 7 is not exactly right. In fact, pi is not equal to the ratio of any two numbers, which makes it an irrational number. A really good approximation is 355 by 113, which equals to 3.1415929 and so on. Think it like this way. 113355 slash the middle 113 by 355, then flip 355 by 113. Summary, we have this. So, songs mirror pi in this way. We might feel like we understand his motives but that's just an approximation. We may believe we have grasped his character but we are often analyzing it all wrong while being partially right. We tend to come closer to understanding but we still fall short. Let's try to explore more with this simple example. Among the various specialized techniques for calculating pi, here is one you can experiment with on your own, called Nilakantha series named after an Indian mathematician. It goes on forever and has this pattern. Notice the plus and minus pattern and also the pattern of numbers below the lines. It gives these results. Now get a calculator and smash that subscribe button, I mean oh sorry, but you can do that anyway. Get a calculator or use a spreadsheet and see if you can get better results. Let's have a look at this graph. On the x-axis we have number of terms and on the y-axis we have the precision of the result that shows how closer we are to the true value of pi. For simplicity we will say it has linear growth in precision as the number of terms increases. Now looking at the graph I can pinpoint the precision based on the number of terms because precision is the function of terms. But the thing is that I can never be able to pinpoint the true value of pi to the full extent because whenever I think I have it, there is more to it. You can just keep on increasing the number of terms and you will be moving closer to the truth but you will not reach it. If only there was a clear pattern after a certain number of terms then we would have been able to predict its digits more easily and understand its true essence. But it has been calculated to over 100 trillion decimal places and still there is no pattern to digits. But what does this have to do with songs? Well, songs is kind of like a pie who doesn't follow a clear pattern and stands as a symbol of the unknown. Alright, let's take the same graph and replace pi with songs, number of tombs with story, and precision with truth. That is how closer we are to truly understand songs character. Now as we move along the x-axis, that is as the story moves forwards, our understanding of the character increases, but just as the case of pi, it's just an approximation. We tend to come closer to understanding but we still fall short. We fail to fully grasp his true intentions. The only time when we will be able to truly understand his character will be at the end of the story or when he shows his true essence in the story that is likely to be very close to an end of One Piece. It's kind of interesting to see how he closely mirrors Pi and its nature. While we have journeyed through the expansive world of One Piece, Song stands as a symbol of the unknown, most like Pi in mathematics. He represents the infinite possibilities and mysteries that are yet to be unraveled. 
Thus, as pi is fundamental in various mathematical equations and principles, Songs is fundamental to the overarching narrative of One Piece. His actions and presence have a profound impact on the world and the other characters, even if many details about him remain unknown, and this is how he closely mirrors Pi. That's why he is the pirate. Alright, I hope you had fun watching it and enjoyed it, even if this is just a video of me over analyzing it. If you found it interesting, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Stories shows that support can be a great motivator. Thanks for watching.